Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to calculate the title value for this year's JUPEP chemistry practicals. So if you are preparing to write the 2024 JUPEP practicals, ensure you watch this video to the end. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please endeavor to do so and turn on your notification bell to ensure you stay updated with all our new uploads. After this title, uh, title value, our next video will be on the qualitative analysis. I will also upload videos on how to solve some problems on volumetric analysis based on the specimens that were released. All right, join us and let's write. So based on the specimen that was released, the volumetric analysis for the 2024 JUPEP chemistry practical is between HCl and Na2CO3. Okay, based on the instruction given, you're meant to dilute Fifteen cm cube of the stock solution in one dm cube of water, right? And um, and the mass of Na2CO3 to be dissolved in one dm cube of water is five point four zero grams, right? So from this information, how can we get the concentrations of the acid? And the base that will now help us calculate the expected title value for the titration okay to calculate the concentration of the acid we we'll use the formula concentration of hcl in moles per dm cube will be equal to the volume of stock acid which i call sa in cm cube Prayer dm cube times the specific gravity of the acid. The specific gravity is in grams per cm cube. Then times the purity of the acid or the percentage by weight of the acid in the stock solution. So the purity, which is in percentage, and then times or divided by the molar mass and the molar mass is in grams per mole okay so so we substitute the values the volume of the stock acid to be dissolved in one dm cube of water is 15 cm cube per dm cube of water why the specific gravity of HCl is 1.18. That's the one, the, this is a common one, 1.18 grams per cm cube. And the purity, the purity ranges between 36% to 37%. That I'm using 36% here. So 36% would be 0 0.36, that's 36 over 100, then times the molar mass, the molar mass of HCl is 36.5. Hydrogen is one and chlorine is 35.5. So that will be one over 36.5 grams per mole. Since grams per mole, so the mole will move up while the grams will be down. So from this, you can see that the units will cancel out easily. So this will cancel out this, grams will cancel out grams. Giving us what moles per dm cube, right? So if you evaluate this, you obtain you obtain 0 0.175 mole per dm cube, which has to be in three significant figures. Now note that this is based on the specific gravity that I'm using and the purity of the stock acid that I'm using. Yes, if the purity 
of your stock asset or the specific gravity of your stock asset is a bit different from what I am using, then there will be a little variation in this answer. Are we together? But this is how to get the concentration in moles per dm cube of the acid solution that we're using for the titration. All right. So we move on to the concentration of the base. That's concentration of the Na2CO3 in moles per dm cube. And to get that, we'll say concentration of Na2CO3 in moles per dm cube. will be calculated as mass concentration of Na2CO3, which is the same thing as concentration in grams per dm cube, divided by the molar mass. Of Na2CO3 in moles, in grams per mole, sorry. Right, so substituting the values, the concentration of Na2CO3 in grams per dm cube is 5.4 grams. Because from the instruction, you are asked to dissolve 5.4 grams of the base in one dm cube of water. So that would be 5.4 zero grams per dm cube divided by, and the molar mass of Na2CO3 is 106 grams per mole. That's 106 grams per mole. And if we evaluate this, that will cancel out that and the moles will go up while the DMQ will come down based on your laws of indices. And this will now give us what? This will give us 0 0.0509 mole per DMQ. So at this point, this is your CA and this is your CB. So take note of that. So now that we know the concentration of the acid in moles per dm the concentration of the base in moles per dm we are now going to use this to determine the tighter value, right? So let's move. So to calculate the tighter value, we first have to write the equation of the reaction. Is what HCl AKS plus Na2CO3 AKS giving us what this is a reaction between an acid and a carbonate, right? So that will give us a salt, which is NaCl AKS plus carbon dioxide carbon dioxide then plus H2O liquid, right? So if we balance this, so we add two here, chlorine will have to be two, hydrogen is two. All right, so that gives us the equation of reaction. And the more ratio here, more ratio is two, two, one, which means that our Na NB, ratio NA and B is what? 2, 2, 1. All right. So next, we're going to make use of what? The titration formula. So using CABA over CBVB equals NA over NB. What's the ratio of NA over NB? That's 2 to 1, 2 over 1, right? So what are we looking for? We are looking for VA. So we make VA subject of formula. That would be what? VA equals CB BB times two all over CA times one, right? So substituting the values of the parameters will give us CB is the concentration of the base in moles per dm cube. And that is 0 0.0509 times VB will be the volume of the pipette that will be used 
can either be 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube those, those are the most common ones and the more common of the two is a 25 cm cube so times 25 times 2 then all over ca is the concentration of the acid hcl that we calculated earlier in moles per dm cube which is 0 0.175 of course times one which is the number of moles of the base in the equation of reaction so if we evaluate this that will give us 14.54 cm cube as the volume of the acid that will be required to neutralize the base therefore means that i expected tighter value will be what 14.54 cm cube all right that is that on the tighter value for the 2024 jupep chemistry practical so our next video would be on the qualitative analysis. And after that, we will now solve some questions on uh, this volumetric analysis, right? And able to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated when we upload those videos. So until we come your way next time, I remain the science chef. Thank you and God bless you.